sure to check out banggood.com for RC cars like this one you're about to see. What's going on there, YouTube? It's Hummer time. So, got the HG 1 10th scale US 4x4 military truck. It's also the Humvee, the Hummer, depending on where you're from. Um, I got this from Banggood. They have three different variations of this, and I believe two are available in tan or green. I cannot remember which color I've got. Um, I've been waiting on this one for a while. The first one I got was uh, the, held up in customs and sent back for some reason. So, uh, just got this one in yesterday and I've been dying to open it. I'm pretty sure I got the green because I wanted it to match the, uh, the P801, the big Hemet 8x8 truck. Um, but yeah, these are supposedly ready to run no battery so I don't know why that is or anything but fully detailed scale four-wheel drive suspension <clears throat> 16 channel radio system and uh, this is the light and sound unit model you can get it without um, prices change quite a bit I think they're on sale actually now from what it was last time I looked um, but the link in the video description will have the accurate price. The third option here is the multicolored one, and I believe that only comes with the light and sound unit. Um, at the time of filming this, the uh, basic model was 400, light and sound unit was 450. So I don't know, that could have changed, and uh, yeah. But uh, Banggood's got the full line of the HG trucks, including the P407, which is the, to me, a Bruiser clone. <laughs> which is fantastic and then I had the 8x8 the P801 and 802 I think can't remember their code numbers but uh and that's actually a really good truck it's all metal chassis detailed plastic body with opening doors detailed interior and this is supposed to be just like that just the Hummer so it is pretty heavy um, the box has a really nice handle on it and it looks like it's a similar packing system to how the 801 was and it's got a reusable hard styrofoam case basically that's form fitted to the truck with a really nice handle so <clears throat> say like when I take this to Florida next year for the uh, ultimate scale truck expo I can just throw it back in this box and I'll have to worry about it getting damaged on the bumpy long ride <laughs> so I'm gonna skip to the point we're gonna open this thing right up get it out and start looking at the carrying case that it comes in it says Trespeed? Tresped? I don't know if they're changing their branding on the HG products. Um, they come up with a kind of a different brand. It does say the name on the box, on uh, the packaging and everything, but we've got our instruction booklet and we've got some stickers in there. Some of their military stickers I'm not a big fan of, but um, we've got our guide to the radio system here, the 16 channel controller. This should have magnets. Yep, it's got magnets along the edge. This thing is big. So, uh, remember back in the 90s, Tamiya made a 1 12th scale variant of the Humvee that fit on a, uh, was it a T TA02 type four wheel drive touring car chassis? And it was not this big at all. <laughs> so, this is 1 tenth scale. Now, that, that's one thing that kind of bothers me. All of the other HG trucks, the military trucks, 8x8, the Hemet, and the new one that's coming out, which I'm hoping to get here pretty soon also uh, it's a 6x6 armored truck they are 1 12th scale so I'm not sure how they're gonna fit together in the scale world but this is just too dang cool to uh, worry about <laughs> so I'm gonna pull it up out of here and get this case out of the way uh, I'm laughing because this thing is a beast it is heavy let me pick it up here for you I'm not sure if you can see it with my arm in the way that thing probably weighs close to 10 pounds. I don't have a scale or I'd find out for you. Um, yeah, I don't even know where to begin. So, we know the roof comes off, the hood opens, the doors open, everything's removable. Um, one thing, if you do get one, do not pick it up by this bumper. This bumper is very, very flimsy. And that's about the only thing you can grip when it's in the case. I had to try to like get my hand under the windshield and, and pick it up. But yeah, that, that bumper did not want to uh, help with lifting. Um, look at some of the peripherals. We've got a decent looking controller here with lots of bells and whistles, lots of buttons. Um, like I said, this is the light and sound unit and I have no idea how to operate any of that yet, but 
we'll figure it out. We've got three-way switches everywhere. Actually feels pretty good. It's got dual antennas. It's kind of silly, but eh. That looks halfway decent. Um, we've got a whole bunch of stuff here. So accessories. Well, so far all of the HG military trucks that I have had come with a tool set and not like an Allen wrench or anything. They actually come with aluminum handle. Looks like titanium coated at least uh, drivers. We got three different sizes. There's some tape all stuck around it. We got a little bag full of uh, zip ties here. I'm sorry, I didn't even show you the dang thing. I'm so excited here. <laughs> that Hummer is just massive. There's the uh, nut drivers. We had those with our 801. Regular basic tools, four way. And looks like it came with a strap for the radio as well as a USB connector. So I guess it is updatable and programmable and things like that. Something you have to pay extra for with a lot of the brand name radios. And the coolest thing, if I can untape it here, the belt fed machine gun to mount on the roof with the ammo cans of ammunition and a metal mounting bracket. <laughs> I gotta open that up real quick. Put a little up. quick walk around at the outside. Um, the machine gun, I think, is it needs a part that I haven't opened up yet, so uh, we're gonna have to wait on putting that up. But I did discover that the latch up top, the hatch actually opens, flips up, and it turns and locks into different positions, so <laughs> that is pretty dang cool. Um, so the wipers stay where they are. The uh, snorkel here is metal, it looks like. Yeah, that's metal. Mirror frames are metal with plastic inserts. Um, the actual hooks here coming out of the hood are metal and they're actually strong enough that you could pick it up with it if I had a something to hook on it. So I think I don't even know where to start. I don't even want to look at the instructions. I just want to explore it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try to open up the hood and the doors and stuff and then we'll take a close up look with the GoPro. Alright guys, I had to stop for a minute because I started cussing. <laughs> this is this is pretty dang cool. Uh, so, the rear hatch, you have a tailgate that's pinned with chains. And then the hatch is actually shock assisted opening. And to top it off, you've got a giant, even bigger machine gun inside. And a mount for, 
I'm assuming you could mount this one on it as well. I don't know if it actually attaches or just sits there. Or how the way it is, it probably magnetizes no one now. But the best and most exciting part here is our giant crate. It's our battery holder. That is genius. I, I really, they really went above and beyond on this one. That the Hemet is cool and it's it's detailed, but this is just they took the because I guess because there's more interior space, they really took some liberties there to to go all out. And that is that is impressive. The doors inside have they have panels, they have glass. Um, they're not going to roll down because they're bulletproof. Obviously, it's a fully armored model. Um, just the sheer weight of this thing is it makes it more fun. It just it's just all over the place. Um, the engine is probably the least detailed part because you're not really going to drive it, but it has the shapes and everything's in the right spot and it looks legit and you can't see any of the RC components from up top. There's one little hole underneath the radio gear on the dash up there. I'm not sure if you can see. You can see a wire going up. So <laughs> that is just over the top. That is cool. So I'm going to go ahead and latch our tailgate back here with these little all right guys, so this this is cool. The front and rear diffs are identical. The front and rear suspension are identical. You see our steering link here is tied to a mechanism. Dual servos, no, single servo, dual pivot points. There, the rear has a cross member and just tie rods, so it's locked out. Very interchangeable, very utilitarian. Our on and off switch is hiding up here in the front. Um, two separate piece drive shafts to the front to clear the transmission which is off center transfer case is ginormous back here and then we have a single rear drive shaft going out but it's i mean scale armor over each piece <laughs> everything metal chassis rails all the way back just like a real one contoured and shaped just like a real one and uh the suspension i can't tell it looks like they are oil filled shocks in there it's hard to really see them it feels like they're oil filled shocks it's got pretty good range of motion and it feels actually really smooth and really really absorbent it doesn't feel springy at all uh i love the tail the exhaust sells it man that is that is too cool you've got one from this side and your y pipe and then your pipe all the way back here and your flush cut tip in front of the back tire is perfect just extreme I mean, for something you buy that's this detailed, you see models this detailed a lot nowadays. There's a lot of great builders out there that can do this kind of work. But for this to come right out of the box, it's that's pretty fantastic. I, I applaud them for that. That is really a nice, nice scale truck. So, I think next I'm going to put a battery in it. We can see how the lights and the sounds and everything work. See how... It runs up here on the table. I'm not going to be able to drive it until this weekend. I don't want to rush my process here. I want to actually take it out and enjoy it and get some really good video. So this one we're just going to get it flipped over, get it running, and uh, check the lights and the sounds, and leave it at that. All right, guys. I got to take six batteries here for the controller, and I'm going to use this little 2200 three cell I've got. Has more than enough space in here. We've got Dean's connectors. Apparently we set off the car alarm. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's probably the same sound unit that we put in the P801 in the Hemet truck. Um, took on that wire in there, it's kind of a pain. Probably should have put it the other way. Let's do that. Smart, not hard. do have lights on already. don't think the truck is powered on, but it, it may have come that way. Let's have to see. I haven't turned on the controller. All right, shut our tailgate. <laughs> that is just too cool. Uh, let's flip it around. All right, we've got headlights. No, we don't have headlights. We just have marker lights. I should, probably should read the instructions, but... Oh, now this is cool. It's got a... Oh, that shows steering, though. Huh. I'm not sure how this works. Apparently I turned it on.
I hate to cut this one short, but it's been a uh, long day at work, and I need to call it a night. But um, this weekend, got some reading to do on the manual here to figure out what all of these switches do. Need to disconnect the battery on this thing. I, I'm still kind of, I'm kind of in shock with this. This is, I knew it was going to be good because the HG stuff I have has been awesome. But this is, this is kind of far beyond that. This is that much better, in my opinion. <laughs> this thing is just too dang cool. Um, yeah, uh, there's a button on the controller for, it says smog. So I'm thinking, does it have a smoke machine? Is that what all the elaborate exhaust system is for? I don't even know. I don't even know what all this thing has. It's got so many things, the blinkers and stuff work when you turn. Reverse lights when you back up. It's got a full light module. Um, yeah, I don't even know where to begin. So like I said, I'm going to read the book and uh, figure this thing out a little bit more. And then this weekend, we'll take it out. And uh, hopefully, I can show you all some more cool features on it. But I appreciate you all watching. And if you're interested in these, check them out at Banggood. Link's in the video description. And uh, keep it scale. This thing is definitely scale. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video.